Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's had a good weekend. Now, now things have been okay here, although it was kind of worrisome last night. Um, some of you may have heard about how some areas of the country got some severe storms yesterday and last night. Well, we got some here in East Tennessee yesterday evening about 6, 6.30. And uh, we got some wind and rain, but it wasn't real bad. Um, they actually gave a tornado warning for the next county over from us at one point. And I was really worried there for a bit, but <clears throat> nothing major happened here except uh, some fairly heavy rain and some gusty winds. Um, there was no damage of any kind, although there were some trees downed around the area from what I saw on the news, but uh, we got through with it okay here, no, nothing happened to us, so anyway, yeah, um, as you can see, I, uh, I built that Nova, that Chevy 2 funny car you might remember, I believe that's one of those I got at that antique shop. Some time back, I put it together uh, yesterday and today. I, I just started on it yesterday and got done with it earlier tonight. So I thought I'd show it to you here. Uh, this base, it runs on a battery, but uh, it turns a little too fast for me. So I'll just turn it by hand. And I painted it gold. I didn't know if I'd like it being gold, but it turned out pretty nice, as you can see. And the decals that came with it, um, they weren't in very good shape. Not all of these decals you see here came with this kit. Only several of them did. Um... The ones that say Twister, you can see there, they shredded after I dunked them in the water and then took them out and tried to slide them off the paper to put them on. They just tore all the pieces. So I got these out of that. Uh, these were left over from that other Nova that I built about a year ago as a tribute to my brother who died. You might remember. Um, it was the 70 or so model Nova with the big hood scoop on it and the words Old Pro on the door. Well, these are decals left over from that model. The Innovator. Now, I was able to get some of the decals that came with this model to work, like the 427 emblem little Chevy emblem there, the AFX decal, I was able to get those to go on okay, but some of the other ones just shredded all the pieces, get a rear view over here, Let's see. Lift the hood off, get a shot of the motor. Just a second. Yeah, the motor went together pretty easily. Well, really, the whole model went together without any major problems. I have to say I was pleased with it. Yeah, I like the traction bars underneath there, you can see.
Yeah, it turned out pretty nice. Paint job. Paint turned out great. And aside from some issues with the decals that came with it, there weren't any major problems of any kind. Yeah, I just had to dig through some of my spare decals. And so there's my Chevy 2 funny car. And um, here in the past day or two, I've become aware that there's an Al Wood appreciation build going on. And uh, Jeff from Treeline Model Works, he just uh, posted a video just a few minutes ago uh, giving some details about it, and I'm glad he did. Um, apparently, uh, it's all, it's a piece, it's, um, supposed to deal with British planes or whatever or, or Al himself likes British planes I, I forget exactly what Jeff said but anyway that brought to mind that Spitfire here that I've got so I just may enter that into the Al Wood appreciation build So, there you have it. There's my Chevy 2 funny car finished and my Al Wood boot build entry. Well, I'm going to get off here now and uh, we'll talk to you all later. And when I've done some more work, I'll let you know. See you.